Hello everyone, this is another talking avatar framework called Hello Mime. They've already launched the project on GitHub, and you can check out the link to be redirected to the project page. It has all the explanations about how it works. Recently, in December, they released version 2 of their framework for talking avatars, along with a Gradio app, which allows you to use a simplified web UI. Before that, back in November, they introduced Comfy UI custom nodes and a fine tuned model for Animated If. This lets you use Animated If to generate talking avatars like this one. Let's check out how it performs as a talking avatar framework and how it compares to others. You might remember frameworks like Live Portrait, which I've covered in previous videos. Let's dive in and try this one out. First, we need to generate a portrait image. I'll break this into steps. Initially, I've disabled the Hello Mime groups. For now, we'll just fix the seed number and generate a new portrait image. Once we have that, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we've got the input image. Now, let's enable the Hello Mime group. At this point, we're not using the load image function. Instead, we're dynamically generating the image and importing it to mimic facial expressions from video input. Next, we'll start loading the face toolkit. Honestly, this framework seems safer for production environments than live portrait. Why? Because it doesn't use Ansight face. Instead, we download all the necessary files directly within this framework. I'll show you what I mean. You can see it's using the Hello Mimi face model snapshots. It includes the face landmarks, hollow face detection models, the AR kit plane shapes, and the three DMM model files. However, I haven't noticed any VAE being loaded for encoding and decoding the face model. This indicates it's safe for public use since it doesn't rely on internal or private face model frameworks. All right, here's the result. We've got animated facial expressions generated by mimicking expressions from the input video. The results look pretty good. They've captured the facial expressions quite accurately. However, you'll notice a bit of flickering in the background. It's smooth overall, but the colorations aren't entirely consistent. Another issue is with the hair. It starts tiling a bit and lacks coherence. This is a common behavior in animated if, even with consistent styles or a good control net behind the workflow, these quirks can still appear. That said, if you're aiming for an animated style, it still performs well. Considering how far AI video generation has come over the past year, it's impressive. This technology is a lot of fun to experiment with, and it's what inspired me to start this YouTube journey as a hobby. Once again, this framework doesn't seem to involve any insight face, at least as far as I can tell. From what I've seen in the pipeline, everything loads from the Hollow Face Toolkit. This toolkit was created by the Hello Mime framework, which is also how the framework gets its name. If you've experimented with generating portrait animations before, you'll recognize similarities here. It's like using Hedra to create animated talking avatars. The outputs are similar, close-up shots of faces that move and sync with the audio we provide. The driving pose for these avatars comes from the video input. The audio file determines the lip syncing, which is synced to the timeline and integrated into the final video output. This approach is a bit different from what we've seen with Echo Mimic. In my previous videos, I mentioned that Echo Mimic uses a standard animation pose captured with Open DW Pose or Open Pose. It then syncs the audio to animate facial movements, making the avatar appear like it's speaking. However, Hello Mime's mechanism differs slightly. While Echo Mimic uses predefined poses and doesn't allow for changes in hand or face movements, Hello Mime is more like live portrait. It relies on a driving video for the pose and doesn't process audio files. As you can see, the audio files here are directly connected to the input videos. It doesn't involve any processing for the audio to lip sync with the mouth or whatever is moving on the face. That's the difference. But one drawback of this framework is that it can't handle half body or full body shots like we can do with live portrait. Let's try one image here. I've got one ready. As you can see, loading this image is, well, it's not a square one, one ratio image. Usually, in live portrait, we can work with the full resolution of an image and animate the face movement. But with Hello Mime, this framework chops the portrait, and it doesn't have a mechanism to animate the entire image at its original dimensions for the output video. Let's see what happens here. So yeah, here's the result from the second image I imported. Again, you can see the chopped portrait and how the whole pipeline processes it. Unfortunately, there's no configuration option to adjust the width, height, 
or other dimensions. By default, the system chops the image using custom nodes, detects the face, crops that area, and sends it into the pipeline to animate only that part. So, in the output videos, you'll only see the head. This limitation is also evident in their GitHub demo videos. It's the same style throughout. It's kind of a drawback. That said, the smoothness of the talking avatar, the facial expressions, and the overall performance are quite impressive. Sometimes, I feel it's even better than live portrait for facial movements. Uh, for example, let's pause this part here. In live portrait, you might notice some flickering on the sides of the face. But here, even when I pause the image frame, the face remains steady without any flickering or weird distortions. Because of that, this AI avatar framework is great for presentations or YouTube videos. You know, like when other YouTubers use a talking face in the corner or at the top of their videos. It's a good solution for those cases. You just take your image, let it mimic the mouth and head movements, and you're good to go. However, if you're working on AI videos with more dynamic scenes or action, Live Portrait might be a better choice. I imported the Live Portrait image to video workflow from the examples folder for comparison. Here's what we have. First, the Hello Meme result, and now the Live Portrait result. As we've tested before, Live Portrait can render the entire image resolution. You get the full picture, and it animates only the face movement, but there's a drawback. Sometimes, you'll notice flickering or a lack of coherence in the face. For instance, the hair can look awkward, and the face shape might seem off in some frames. That said, Live Portrait can render an entire image or video, animating everything as a whole. This is another advantage. It supports video-to-video -video workflows. You can import driving face motions and reference source videos, and it animates accordingly. So I loaded another video as a reference. In this one, the woman demoing is shown in a video with different dimensions and resolutions compared to what we have for the driving videos in Live Portrait. It's flexible enough to handle these variations. We'll be transforming this clip of the lady sitting calmly on the beach with slow and relaxed motions and make her face more exciting using the driving video. This is going to be quick. We'll set it to 100 frames. Even with just 100 frames, it doesn't take long to create. Right here, I'll click Generate. While I'm talking, you can see Live Portrait working. The performance is very consumer-friendly since it requires minimal VRAM. And now it's finished generating the output result. I actually want to extend the motion a bit because turning the head right in the middle for this woman takes more time. So the driving video should have about 250 frames We'll transform this calm, relaxed woman into a more expressive and happy version while she's sitting on the beach. And there we go. 250 frames are rendered now. The result is more dynamic. The woman has more facial expressions compared to the initial calm, relaxed state. Now she has a happy face. Live Portrait once again shows it can generate results with different dimensions. Even though I'm using a landscape aspect ratio here, it adapts well to varying resolutions. Now, going back to the Hello Mime framework, even with a small-sized image, like the one I tested, it struggles. It's not a large poster-style image, but it still only chops out the face and renders just the facial head part of the character. That's a significant drawback compared to Live Portrait. However, Hello Mime is smoother when it comes to talking and facial movements. I'd prefer this one for something like PowerPoint presentations or video tutorials. It just feels more polished for those scenarios. That said, Live Portrait also works fine for presentations. But sometimes, when you notice the facial expressions and movements, they don't feel entirely natural. There's occasional awkwardness in the face, like the shape becoming distorted or artifacts appearing. You might even see flickering along the edges where the stitching occurs between frames. It's a trade-off. Sometimes one framework is better, sometimes the other excels. You'll need to weigh your options based on what you're trying to create. Again, this is Hello Mimi, another talking avatar framework that you can use locally in Comfy UI or through the Gradio Web UI. Some companies email me asking to feature their apps or sponsor videos about their AI talking avatar software. But I always reject those because we already have great frameworks like Live Portrait and Hello Mime to generate talking avatars.
Honestly, lots of them are using similar framework and reskin it on their website, resell it as their subscription service. As a tech entrepreneur, I don't see any value from them wrapper site, so called software as a service. And most of those apps don't meet the standard performance as I expect. Some haven't fine tuned the model and just do the same quality as the open source lab rat version. So I just put them in spam folder or block them. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you're considering new software that claims to offer realistic AI avatars, I'd recommend trying out Hello Mimi or Live Portrait first before spending money on subscriptions. Oh yes, and AI video SaaS websites as well, a lot API wrapper sites recently, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.